Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan from The Forge Type Co. Thanks for joining us today. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to weave your type in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're in Illustrator and you've got your type that you want to intertwine between each other. So I've been using this a lot with this font combo I made called Steady Hands. It works really well together to have the nice condensed one and then the brushy script to go in between it. So I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. So the first thing I like to do is because we're going to destruct this font a little bit and take it apart. So it's good to just make a copy of it just in case you need to come back and start again. So now that we've got a copy, we can turn the background layer off, close this. Now select it all, come up to object, expand, yes. And now it's all gonna make it shapes. Now you wanna to come to each bit of type and you wanna ungroup them. Now you wanna select, come over to properties and then pathfinder and then more options. And then you wanna use this cool tool called divide. This is gonna divide up the shapes and make little blocks of it. So I'll show you what I mean. So here, you're going to ungroup it again. So now you can see how this is interlocked with this and it's made a little shape that's taken apart. So you can move all these shapes around, but we're not going to actually be doing that. So now you want to do is figure out which bits you want to put in front and which bits you want to put behind. So it looks like it's got that cool 3D effect. So here, just select it and then eyedropper, which is just the eye on the keyboard and then color drop that. And now look, it looks like it's going behind here and then coming back in front. So you want to just go through and make sure you have a nice balance and it looks like you've really got the brush script going and interlocking behind it. So this one, send that back. This one, not really heaps we can do here. Maybe just this little bit here. And then this one, let's in front, behind there. And then here, let's send this bit behind. That gives it a cool, it looks like it's almost cutting through the middle here. You kind of want to figure it out of the way I like to look at about it is kind of just go one for one. So you go one behind, one in front, one behind, one in front. And then it gives it that really nice weave effect. So now you've got your type weaving between, it looks like it's going behind and then coming back in front. You can do this on lots of things. You can do this on illustrations as well to give it a 3D effect. Thanks so much for watching guys. Press like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more content. There might be another video to click I think here somewhere. See you next time.